Hello guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how a 50,000 liter water tank is made. So here you can see a simple representation of the tank structure. It includes the foundation and walls only. The covering is neglected which will be a conical dome. This tank was built in Nepal in the year 2021. The construction starts off by digging up about 1.5 meters into the ground to attain a hard footing for the water tank. The excavated area can be made circular or almost circular. An additional trench of the same height is also provided for outlet pipes. The bed is leveled with a level pipe which is followed by stone soling and which is again followed by plain cement concrete of thickness 10 cm in this case. Before applying the plain cement concrete uh, layer, the stone soling should be washed properly to remove the dots that fall from outside the trench. The PCC layer is left to dry for a minimum of 24 hours. After the PCC hardens, we have now started laying the 20 cm thick RCC bed. The reinforcement of the bed comprises of double mesh of 12 mm rebars. A gap of 4 inches is provided between the upper mesh and lower mesh for installing the pipes. After installing the pipes, vertical rebars are now extended from the outer portion of the mesh. These vertical rebars will be the walls of the tank. The outlet pipes should not be placed too close to each other. These bars are called Hans bar that will eliminate the right angled corner. After the mesh is built, RCC work can now commence. In this case, M20 grade concrete is poured to form the 20 cm thick slab at the bottom of the tank. After the RCC slab dries, we can start constructing the wall of the tank. The Hans bar will be built together with the wall. Sufficient vibration and compaction needs to be done in the wall because of the double mess. The form work of the wall should not be taken out before 7 days. During the construction of the wall and the concrete base, waterproofing material should be added inside the concrete mixer. Now what's left is building the beam and dome of the tank for covering the tank. Both the beam and the dome are built with 12 mm rods with 20 mm spacing between them. Very skilled manpower is required during the construction of dome and the beam. The result should look something like this. Then reinforced concrete is poured into the dome. To form a conical shape which will look like this at the end. Feel free to contact me at my email id which is provided in the description box.